Okay, we're back with the Marshall Super Lead 100 watt hand wired reissue, and you may just be able to see I've installed lock washers on the on off and standby switches, and I've also included bleeder resistors for the main B plus line. I put 82k 2 watt resistors in there. Now you may notice that there is bleed resistors on the on these two capacitors 56k but they're switched. This is the um, screen grid supply so that voltage is not there when when in standby whereas this this voltage the 500 and 500 volt plus line that's that's there whenever the amp is is in the on position so that the these resistors won't discharge these capacitors so i've clipped on a multimeter and we have 528 volts when in standby across those capacitors that didn't have the bleed resistors. That'll drop when you bring it out of standby. And the amp starts drawing current, it drops to 500 volts. So let's now see with those bleed resistors fitted put it back in, into standby you'll see that the voltage discharges much quicker if you remember after 15 minutes it still had 460 odd volts on and see it's decaying quite rapidly down to a safe level now 60 volts 50 and so on After less than a minute, it's down to, well, 10 volts, so it's, it's down to nothing really. So that, that's great. So those res bleed resistors fitted, they're not running too hot. Now, the value of those resistors are not critical. Typically, 56k in Marshalls. In Fenders, they're, they're up to 220k. So um, a good value, I, I think, is, is around about 82k. That's what I've fitted anyway. As I say, it's not critical at all. So we'll go through the rest of the amp and uh, we'll probably do a, a final video when it's all finished off. Thanks for watching.